recording stopped. Oh, did I cancel that? Sorry about that. Keep going. I'm sorry. Okay, very good. Okay, can we have a roll call? So we have um, Walt Ware, correct? Yeah. We have Kathleen Sorka. Yep. We have yep. Bill DeRosiers, and we have who else? William Monroe. Hi. So there's there's our four, which makes it nice because we can vote. <laughs> That's good. Beautiful. Okay. So three. Any additions or changes to the to the agenda? No. Yes, Not Jim. For me. Oh, None. Jim. I'm sorry. None for me. None from you. Okay. Uh, this is the part where we get the public participation. So, um, Jim, is this where we just open it up for anybody that can speak? Well, it's 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 for any it's for anything other than the. Application, application before you gotcha um discussion on that matter would, would be held till public hearing is open great so do we have any public participation from anybody on the line tonight i would take that as a no um so we can move to the uh, public hearing should i read the public hearing jim yeah why not? ZBA-21-12-02, application of Nick Clark, and I'm sorry if I pronounce this wrong, Breeden Duncan. Uh, they are the applicant property owners at 33 Lake Road, aka assessor's map is 32, block 48, lot 91 through 9. The applicants are seeking relief from section 11.2 of the Andover zoning regulations, more specifically, the applicants are requesting a reduction in the side yard setback from 25 feet to three feet, so as to allow for the construction of an accessory structure as shown on plan accompanying the application date and received and on file in town of Andover's building and land use office of September 29th, 2021. I'm not sure if that's your phone, Walt. If, which yeah, is a lot yeah. Of noise. It's a lot of noise yeah. in the background. Well, yeah. Uh, is it cooking you up? Let me turn my volume down. Maybe I'll help. Okay. Sounds good. Is that any better? Sounds a little better. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So at this time, um, the the public hearing is open. And is this where people would be able to speak, uh, Jim, from uh, yeah. the applicants? Bill. Yeah, Bill. I, what I was – two things I'd like to just make clear. Um the, the the notice reads construction of an accessory. It's really the placement of a of the shed. Uh, just in the old days, they used to build them, and now they place them. Just a, a minor minor detail doesn't. I don't think that throws anything off much. But um, as you know, the applicant needs four affirmative votes, um, and is usually given the option of moving forward when there's less than the full contingent. Um, of six, right? Um, and that's just giving me, that's typically what, what has happened historically. Um, it doesn't, it's not required. It's just sort of courtesy to the applicant. Um, that's right. You know, also, I, I guess where I'm going with this is also if people are comfortable with, with opening the hearing, um, I mean, you can always continue it. Um, certainly, if if, um, if there was issues with with um, viewing the site or what have you. Okay, um, I don't know if I know. I went out to see the site. I know you did, Jim. I think Walt Ware said he was out there. Did anybody else, Bill or Kathleen, uh, were you able to get out and view the site? No, I didn't, didn't get there. Uh, I drove by it. Okay. Um, is this the point where uh, the applicant can speak um, on their behalf, Jim? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I guess the thing to do, the, the, right, the best approach uh, is to open public hearing, give the, have the applicant explain the application, and then mm -hmm. open it for comment. And at okay. some point, um, give the applicant the ability to um, hold off until there's a, a better contingent. We do have the ability with... Um, Correct me if I'm wrong here, Abby, but 
I mean, we, we these all these meetings are recorded on thumb drive and can be viewed. So if somebody was not able to make tonight's meeting, they would have the ability to review it in its entirety. Correct? Yep. It, right? It'll be on YouTube. Okay. It'll be on YouTube. But Point we. Being, the applicant could could at the tip before the um before the meeting is i'm sorry before the hearing is closed could express their desire to hold off in which at which you would continue with the hearing as opposed to close it but that's we just could a procedural move. option that's that um i'm throwing out there right but they could they could state it we could move it to uh, discussion and then we can bring it to a vote if we wanted to. Yeah, I just want to make it clear that just the, statutorily, they, have, they need yep. four affirmative votes. Gotcha. Okay. So um, four members if I, if I right? I think you're right. Okay. So let's uh, go ahead then and open for the public hearing and um, I guess either Nick or Braden, if you have something that you would like to say to the to the uh, zone the board um i this is nick i i'm not entirely sure if everybody got a chance to review the documentation that we provided to the team but essentially what we did and i could share my screen if anyone would want to take a look but um what we did is we went and uh purchased a shed at the big e this year and um we we set up the prop, we planned the shed around the property where um, we had a, one spot where it would fit. The spot is um, not within 25 feet of the neighbors. It's um, closer to a border than that. I could, I think I have permission to share the screen. So I'll share the diagram I drew. Um, Most of us should have those, those, that, those documents in front of us, but. I have that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's I, not I know ready. Walt's got it. So I think, I think most of us have it. Bill, do you have it? Uh, yeah. If it's, I have, if it's on the uh, agenda here. The PDF. I mean, the yeah. It's, it's part of the PDF. I'm looking right at it. Yeah. I've got it. So, oh, thank you for, um, yeah, I'm sorry. I wasn't able to pull that up on my screen, but essentially what's going on on this diagram is we have a septic and leach fields which is mixed with wetland that won't allow us to place that, the shot in that certain area. There's wooded area next to that and also wooded area behind on the other side of the septic tank. When the people came to do the inspection for the house, we were told specifically not to put anything on or near the septic tank. And beyond that area, um, about halfway down, right where the back of the shed would end is wetland area. So we're really not able to put anything there as well. So what we were asking for is essentially um, leeway on the property border to have some distance between us and the property line for the shed to go where we were proposing it to be. Gotcha. Now, um, this is the spot, if, when I looked, I didn't see any stakes out there. Um, I was hoping that it would be staked off, but is it on that kind of that high knoll where the big rock, the outcrop is? Mm -hmm. um, yes, that is correct. And I see. So if you were to go anywhere off of that rock, you would basically put you down in the middle of the yard, close to that leach field, I guess. Yes, it would be in, the, it would be around the leach field or in the yard or possibly in the wetlands. Anything else you'd like to add at this point? Um, I have nothing to add other than I'll be happy to answer questions if anyone has any on the call. Okay, so to our board, questions? Oh, there one was a Sorry. Oh, I was just, I'm sorry. I was just forgot. Uh, uh, Rose, 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 Rose. This is how it's made. Make a few comments here. Sure, Jim. Sure, Jim. Okay, I just okay. for clarity, clarity I, I think 
um, I just want to go over the plan a little bit because I'm sure it's hard to read. Um, you just at this scale. Um, there's there's a line, re relatively dark line, um, off to the left hand side, which is quite irregular, which is is the actual wetlands, flag wetlands. The base map came from the subdivision plan. Um, and then there's a map, there is the regulated area line, which is uh, 100 feet off of that, which it, it is marked very hard to read. If you look down towards the bottom left, there's an arrow to a line that, that basically gives you that 100 foot regulated area. Um, now, this is the map that um, Nick used. I'm, I'm, I believe was basically the site plan as opposed to perhaps the as built. I, I'm not absolutely sure. But, but as you can notice, the house was placed over on the right hand side of the property, um, presumably to avoid wetlands. That driveway is not entirely accurate. I don't think it has any particular bearing on the on the application. But the driveway is more the the, the garage, which is on the right side of the house. Um, right, right. And the only, if you if you look off, there's a sort of a pull off, right here uh, to the right of that of well, well, the actual driveway. It's odd that it appears that appears, but the driveway itself seems to go to the left. Again, not any huge bearing, but but in actual fact, the driveway goes straight to the garage on the right side of the house. And the, the, the there's a little pull off right uh, where you would turn around the car around park an additional car um, or in the event he had a shed there might be where you'd unload. Nick, is that accurate? Yeah, it looks like you kind of see the lines, Jim. There is a second set of lines that are a lot lighter, but they go straight into the garage and then you see a pull off to the to the right hand side. Uh, I, I honestly know I have no idea what, no what the big circle is down right along the front. It, the circle with the lines in it. I, I cannot read it. Um, the, the circle with the two concentric circles is, is a proposed well. Um, again, this is a subdivision plan. That's not to say that the well was actually installed there, but there's a, a proposed well with with two concentric circles which would speak to um public health code um, if there's a, a curtain drain there's a specific except um requirement distance as opposed to a house without a curtain drain so so um designers put both of those circles on there just uh, just for clarification just in case anybody's wondering um, if anybody has any questions about the plan, I'd be, I mean, the set, location of the septic system um, appears to be pretty accurate um, from, from what I could tell being on site. Um, it, it's really directly behind the house. Um, and the, the tank, the tank, the tank is probably pretty close to, to I mean, where it's shown here. Is that those little two little squares right there, Jim? Uh, just kind of below the black square right there. Gotcha. gotcha. Yes. Gotcha. I mean, I don't know why there's two um, in this particular design. Okay. And again, it, it is very difficult to read. Um, those, those two squares, the 10 and 14, what are those? Where the shed is? Yes. There's, a, there's two squares. There's the 10 in one and a 14 in the other. I think those are the dimensions, the dimensions they're trying to show uh, Kathy oh, okay. and by 14. Okay. 14. okay. Yep. Yep. I have one question have one for the applicant question. through the chair, if that's okay. Yes. When I was on site today, I happened to notice there is basically a, a stake fence along the property property line, the line between the house that would be um, accessed off of Route 316, Hebrew Road. And there's a, a stake fence, an older green um, stakes every whatever, 15 feet or something, with sort of a wire. I'm presuming that is um, somebody's estimate at the property line. Would that be accurate? I would assume as much. Um, I, I have not seen much documentation on it myself. So okay. I've been going off of that assumption. So you're assuming not, not, 
been there a long time. And actually, that, I mean, the house hasn't been there a long time either. So, if I if I could chime in for a moment, sure, sure. Um, I I reside at one seventy one Hebron Road, and and I believe that property you're referring to, uh, it, I, I own that. Okay. It, it yes, that is. Um, it stretches out to the big road. And yes, it, yeah, it, it does. Um, okay. You own the wooded area between our property and the White House there. I saw that yes. in the professor's yeah. office. So. That's correct. That's correct. Yep. yep. Just wanted to just wanted to clarify that. So if there's any confusion by anyone. So that so that fence is the property line. Uh, I I can't specifically say that it, it is or it isn't. I believe it is. Um, but that is my property. I did not put that fence up. Um, that was there when I purchased the property. So um, I guess it would have to be assessed and that would have to be determined. So, but I guess my point is you're, you're facing the three feet, not you, but the applicant is facing the three feet uh, off of that fence. So that the fence is the property line. As far as I know. Yes, that is correct. And we're asking to get three feet away from that fence, so we wouldn't be we would be three feet away from that fence at the shortest. So I guess since it's it's abuts that property, I guess the question would be if you have any comments as far as the gentleman that lives on even uh, Road there uh, has that property abutting. Do you have any comments about the shed? I'm and sorry, can you repeat that? It's, it's very accurate. I wonder if you had any comments about the shed being uh, proposed location of a shed. I, 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 have, I have no personal objection to uh, the placement of a shed in that, in that area. Um, my only question or concern would be is um, property ownership, where it's being suggested to put it. Um, if, if, it's, if, we're, if we're suggesting that that fence distinguishes between his property line and my property line, then okay, but I, I don't know whose property technically that fence is on, so. Um, I would ask Jim, Jim Hallisey, um, do you think there's any need to have any kind of survey done to make sure that the shed is, you know, to determine where the property line is before we move forward? Well, it's not typically typically done for a, for an accessory building unless there's a particular concern. Uh, there's no particular concern on my part. I, I just want to okay. make that clear. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. May I interject for just a second and suggest that anyone who's on a cell phone are able to mute and mute when you're not talking. So if you so, we can reduce that echo. That'd be great. So everyone on a cell phone, if you could mute, and when you want to talk, you can take yourself off mute. So that would be, I think, Kathleen and um, and Brad, right? All right, you want me to mute? Yeah, if you if you're not speaking, otherwise, you know, if you have something to say, then unmute. But anybody that's on cell phone, if you could just mute your phone unless you're, you're talking. I'm on I could not hear you. I'm on a landline. Does that you still want me to mute? I'm not on a cell phone. Okay, if you're not able to mute, then that's. But if anyone's on a cell phone and can mute, can mute, please do so. Do so. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so there's, is there any other discussion um, from anybody concerning the application? Jim, at this point, um, would we be able to move it to a vote? Or if there's no further discussion? Uh, Chair DeRosa, I, I, I do have a question. Um, who's speaking? Bill Monroe. Bill Monroe. Oh, hey, Bill. Oh, hey, Bill. Um, I know the neighbor, the neighbor mentioned, or the uh, person the, uh, that owns the property, property said there's no, no problem. problem. Um, I'm just I'm wondering, wondering 
if what I, what I saw was that's all trees there. That whole area is full of trees. Um, is there any like liability if a tree falls down on the? Uh, 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 it, uh, yeah, uh, is, he, is he liable for that? Are we is that something that we should be concerned about? Uh, I don't know the answer to that. Jim, do you have any idea about that? You're on mute, Jim. The question was of liability is raised raised under the application for 57. Uh, Henry Road Phillips uh, involved the flood the floodplain, and the advice of our land use council was, "Don't you? you, you it is not our problem." Oh, he was very clear about that. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. Any other questions? Any other discussions? Anybody like make, make a motion? To, Jim, can we make a motion to, motion to vote, to vote at, this point? at this point? Well, have you have you closed the hearing? Did I miss that? We closed the open the public hearing um, at this point. And, and right? go to new business, right? Right. And then move to new business. New business. There you go. There you go. New business. Somebody make a motion. Motion. And then discuss. Okay. Okay. Anybody want to make a motion? Motion. Close the open public, public. Is that Kathleen? Kathleen? Yes, I make a motion. The motion is to close the public hearing and open it up for new business. New business. Yes. Anybody want to second that? Motion? I'll second it. Uh, that's Walt Ware. Where? Okay. Okay. So on to new business. Which do I need to read this again, Jim? Or no, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Okay. So at this point, can we open up for discussion again. Again. Well, well now a motion, basically, basically uh, a motion. A motion. In order to discuss it, you should have a motion on the floor. A motion, and I would suggest a motion to approve because if you remember, I'm not suggesting that you. I'm not telling you what to vote. I'm saying the motion. If the motion reads on the affirmative, um, it's clear what happens if it if it doesn't pass. If the motion is. is 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 placed uh, made in the negative, meaning um, vote to you know um, move to um, deny. Then you're some, in somewhat of limbo. Limbo. If if it doesn't if it doesn't if it doesn't. Um, it, so it doesn't pass, but it's not denied. So so that's why very often a lot of commissions make motions in the positive. So do I have a motion then on the floor to approve? Applications GA twenty one twelve oh two. I make a motion to approve. Mm -hmm. Kathleen. Yes, yes, Kathleen. Thank you, Kathleen. Do I have a second? Second. Well, I'll second it. Well, where? Where? Any further discussion? Discussion. You think to vote? Okay, I'll do a roll call then. Uh, Bill Monroe. Aye. 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 Kathleen. Aye. Walter. Aye. And Bill DeRosiers. Aye. So, uh, motion carries. Congratulations. Thank you. We appreciate it. Very good. Uh, now we move on to uh, open discussion, commission open discussion. Any other business? Jim, do you have an administrative report as a zoning agent? I have nothing formal. I just, um, I, I would like to make sure, I'm thinking here, I, I do recall that, that um, when the notification went out, I, I had asked um, that they be sent to Dave Gastanian and, and Elo, and I just, I'm just hoping they, they, 
were notified, and I, I will double check that just because they're not here. I'm concerned um, because they are new. Um, other than that, um, I just, you know what, I just want to share, I had sent Commissioner DeRosier some information. Bill, you may have forgotten this, but um, when, when, it was a learning, a learning moment for me. When, when an application is approved, it's very specific to that, to the application, meaning that in this case, the shed goes pretty much where it's placed. And it could, and this becomes, and it's the same height, which I don't think we have a height on here, but um, it be, when, when it came up, when somebody got received variances years ago for setbacks on the lake and wanted to build another story. So they had the setbacks, you know, the side yard setbacks in place. And could they do it? And, and I honestly wasn't sure and sought counsel and found out that no, they couldn't. It's just something that was interesting to me and, and something that perhaps, you know, may come up in the future. And I thought I'd share that before I forgot it. Right. Right. Um, That's all I got. I, I, Abby, do you Abby, know if you know, um, um if Dave Gustani and, and Eva, if they if they, if they, if they were sent they out were the notice as well? I'm sorry. Could you repeat that? Um, there was a question was raised a question by Jim a minute, a minute ago on whether or not um, our two our new alternates, alternates Dave Gustanian and Elo, Elo, if they had uh, received, received this notice as well. As well. Um, yeah. Cool question. I know that there was an email sent out. Let me. I can just check to see if it was on. Bill, Bill, Abby, Bill Abby, Abby has not. Has not. We are transitioning transition. to where she, where she will be handling yeah. that. I believe. I believe. Oh, okay. Uh, but she hasn't has as, of as of yet. Okay, because um, I do I do believe I saw uh, Dave Stanians on the email that I received. I remember seeing Dave's name, and I and I'm not sure about Elo, but I, I think I I know I saw Dave's name on the. On the email, yeah. you know, I, I now that I think about it, I remember because we had it was not on the actual helos wasn't on the distribution sheet, and the, the woman that actually sent them out was in the process of, of getting that address. So, so he, okay. I'm pretty sure he would have gotten it. I was just okay, concerned, right. that, uh, you know, I hate to overlook somebody. Gotcha. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, do I hear a motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion to adjourn. Thank you, Walter. I'll second that. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, Bill. All those in favor? Uh, aye. 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 Okay. I think the ayes have it. So I want to thank uh, Abby for joining us. I know this might have been a little painful because this is a kind of a strange process still to us. But thank you very much. And uh, I want to really thank Jim Halsey for his work and and helping to uh, educate me today uh, on some of these on some of these factors and um, and the rest of the board for joining us tonight. So thank you all and have a nice evening. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Nice job. Nice job. Thank you. Thank you. Abby, are you still on? Yes. Yes. I have a question. Okay. When you were asking people to mute, mute, mute. <laughs> were you asking just people on the phone versus anybody on an iPad or on the computer? Um, here, I can stop the recording first. We need to have this on the recording. <laughs>